Well, I'm very sorry you're not able to be free for dinner tonight. So am I. It is nice having cocktails with you, but it would be so nice to have a long dinner where we could both talk to each other. I'm sorry about it too, Fred, believe me. I wasn't supposed to work tonight, but the museum director is planning one of the, our money-raising benefits, and he said he couldn't do it without me, which is true. Well, I'm sure you're a valuable asset to the museum. And they know it. But every time they snap their fingers, they expect me to jump. Well, you can't imagine what they put us girls through, especially me. Yeah, well, I can only imagine, yeah. And guess who gets all the credit? Is the directors and curators of the museum? Yes. They go around welcoming all the visiting royalty, and they go on all the TV talk shows. And I have to talk to the printer about the catalogs and make sure the shipments are in order. Well, I'm, I'm sure they appreciate your efforts. But that's just it. When all the congratulations are being passed around, there should be a little something for me. Well, I'm sorry you don't have so many rewards in your work. Just the Christmas bonus, or if they want a special favor. Yeah, tell me, it, these special benefits and the opening nights, uh, does Henry Davenport ever attend them? No. He's not a social person. Well, surely he must go out from time to time. Matter of fact, he does. Hmm? You know that friend of mine I told you about? The one that's Davenport's personal secretary? Uh, yeah, you said you went to secretarial school with her. That's right. You know, you have a very good memory. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Well, she told me the place that he goes to to eat. It's this real greasy spoon out on the outskirts of town. Do you know the name of this restaurant? I don't know if you'd call it a restaurant. Well, I mean, not like this place. You know, I've never been to this place before. Well, we shall have to come back sometime. <laughs> that would be wonderful. <laughs> you, you were about to tell me uh, where Davenport eats. Well, my friend says that he goes to this place and he eats hamburgers and french fries. Awful greasy ones at that. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it? A man with millions and millions of dollars, and he likes to eat in some dump like Smiley's. Smiley's? That's the name of the place, Smiley's. Well, mainly truckers. People like that go there. Well, I, you know, I would like to, to, to get a look at this man. Uh, does he eat there every night? Oh, well, I don't think so. Oh, and you know what you told me before about wanting to take his picture? Yeah. Well, my friend says, don't try it. The story is that this guy Davenport can smell a camera a mile away. Can you believe that? He can't smell whether or not the food is good, but he can smell a camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, could your friend tell me, uh, perhaps, when he goes there to eat? Maybe. You want another drink? Just one more. I'll see what my friend can tell me about when he goes there to eat. Uh, another drink for the lady, please.